If you've been watching the housing market, there's no doubt that you've seen a correction, but you're probably wondering if home prices are going to continue to decline here in 2023. So let's break that down. I am Nick with the Needy Group. I want to come at you with a real quick market update. Uh, so, you know, keep in mind, right as I record these videos, we've basically seen a little bit of stability coming into the mortgage rate, right? We know that mortgage rates doubled in 2022, which is basically what completely eroded buyer's affordability and ultimately reduced their demand for new homes, okay? However, we've now started to see a little bit of stability here. We saw things shake out right around that 6%. Uh, they just ticked up slightly a little bit, but hopefully we're gonna see that kind of holding here into the spring for 2023, which will definitely help some buyers coming back into the market. We saw here basically anything above 6.5% uh, it was, you know, just completely dire to buyer demand. So we know anything below six and a half or or that five and a half is really kind of where we need to get back to for really good to strong buyer demand. Okay. Uh, as far as crash, I've kind of addressed this in a couple of other videos, you know, realize that in the beginning part of last year, new homes, you know, homes that we were coming to market for the first time, basically were, were drastically below where they were in years past. And critics said, well, in order for them to keep up, you know, listings are going to continue to increase through the second half of the year. And with this decrease in buyer demand, we're going to be headed for a problem, right? But that's not actually what happened. This is what happened. We saw uh, listings coming to the market were drastically below years past. And then through the second half of the market, once we started to see that uh, buyer demand decrease due to interest rates, we saw less people enthusiastic about bringing their home to market as well too and what this did from a supply and demand standpoint was actually brought a little bit of price stability into play okay when we look at new listings here for january 2023 we're obviously below where we were in previous years uh, however we haven't seen huge price reductions yes in places like san diego Tampa, some other, you know, Phoenix, some other over, overheated markets. San Diego right now, we're looking at about a 10 to 12% uh, decrease. I'll talk more about that in the San Diego market update. Sarasota, we saw about a 5% decrease, although we're already pulling a lot of that back. But I'll talk about that more here in just a second. But I thought this was interesting. Goldman Sachs just updated their uh, their revised forecast here for, for this year from a, a negative 6% down to negative 2.6%. We're going to talk a little bit about how if we do hit foreclosure, interest rates can come back and that can definitely help the housing market. Uh, when it comes to price declines, though, we definitely saw last year that June, July, August, those are probably the three hardest hit months. Although when I looked at it real close, especially like in San Diego, when, when you looked at March, April and May, that's when, you know, it was almost like a peak. We basically gave back everything at the end of the year that we gained at the beginning of the year and really came out kind of right where we were at the end of 2021, if you want to think about it that way. Uh, you know, as far as you know, I've done other videos on this lately, headlines doing more to terrify than they do to clarify, right? This is a new thing from NerdWallet. 67% of Americans say the housing market uh, crash is imminent in the next three years, okay? Why are they saying that? Well, they keep seeing, you know, uh, headlines like this, right? U.S. foreclosure filing surged 115% in 2022. They doubled, right? That's basically the story right now is that, you know, foreclosures doubled basically last year. Well, you know, that is, those are accurate statements, but they need to be put into context, right? Adam, they're the leading curator of real estate data nationwide. Uh, when we were basically talking about the end of 2022, right? Uh, when they looked at all foreclosure market reports for default notices, scheduled auctions, bank repossessions, everything came out to about 324,000 in the US, right? So that was up 115% from 2022. One, however, that was down 34% from 2019. More importantly, it was down 89% from the peak of 2.9 million in 2010, okay? This is what it looks like, right? This is where we're at. Yeah, we went from 150,000 to 324,000. So this is what they're talking about, this 115% increase in foreclosure. But look at where that is to 2019, 2018, 2017. Look at where it was back to the height of the crash. It's nowhere near uh, where it was. So just realize that, you know, foreclosures and things like that, you may be seeing that coming up in, uh, you, you know, the headlines right now, but realize they are going to have no appreciable, they're not going to make a difference here in this current housing cycle. Okay. It's really back to interest rates and, and the supply and demand. But as you can see over the last three years, a million fewer foreclosures. Okay. Um, so just realize that, that this is pretty interesting too. Basically 18 months after the government's foreclosure moratorium, and with less than 
5% of the 8.4 million borrowers who entered in the CARES Act, right, foreclosure activity remains significantly lower than it was prior to the pandemic, okay? So <clears throat> we know that previously foreclosures moved the needle in the last crash. We know now, though, distressed sales during this housing bust, they're not going to basically, they're not going to lead to any significant price reduction, okay? So I just want you to realize that. So what probably is more likely to happen, though, is, you know, there's been a lot of conflicting data. We saw a lot of um, talk about a recession here, right, end of last year, and, and now we're still seeing it here this year. About 70% of economists think we're headed for some type of recession this year, probably will be in the second half of this year, right? I've done numerous videos over the years of how recessions are not correlated to home prices, but interest rates actually are. So there is a good chance we could hit some type of recession and we could see some mortgage rates actually decrease back into that 5% range. And then we could see more buyer demand coming back in with affordability increasing. And we've seen the housing market start to take off again and actually lead us out of any type of recession, kind of that first in, first out type of mentality. So that is still very much a, a possibility. We've also seen now, yes, we've seen some reduction in prices, but we're starting to see those things kind of bottom out over the last two or three months, which is also good news. So that's it. If you guys have questions about what is happening in, in your market, keep an eye out for my San Diego and Sarasota housing market updates. But if you have questions about, is this a good time for you to buy or sell? What is your home worth? Anything like that? I'm always happy to have that conversation with you. Just reach out and let me know. That's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, who you choose to negotiate for you absolutely matters.